Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new here, my name's Thomas and I make style and hair related videos just about every single Monday. Today is episode two, the long awaited episode two of reviewing my subscribers' hair growth journeys. Now, if you are brand new here, we've been on this hair growth journey for bloody ever. Yes, we have lots of hair in the back there. Woo and uh, what we have, we have a, a thriving Facebook community where guys can come along, feel safe about growing their hair out. We kind of lift each other up through the awkward stages because going from a buzz cut or even an undercut to long hair like what I have right now is a fucking mission. <laughs> and uh, when you're on your own and have people telling you to cut it all the time, it is daunting. So if you are joining here for that reason and you want some inspiration for growing your hair out, you've definitely found the right place. And if you wanna join the community, the link to the Facebook group will be in the description. Going back to the importance of this video, just to keep me inspired and everybody else in the community inspired, what I decided to do ages ago was ask you guys or community members to submit their hair growth journeys to date. So from where they started to where they're at now. And I did a video where I reviewed a heap of them. It was very popular. So we're gonna do that again. I've asked for more entries and this time, I think I'm gonna choose about 10 of them just to review here on this video. But I do have a blog post that features a lot of these hair growth journeys as well. So if you wanna see more after watching this video, you can go to the description box and find that as well. So I wish I could feature everybody in this because really some of these hair growth journeys are just fucking amazing. However, I can't, I'd be sitting here for like 10 years if I reviewed every single one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's have a look at these inspiring hair growth journeys. Okay, first up, let's have a look at this photo. Ooh, wow. Okay, so our first subscriber off the ranks is Chris Mor Morazan, I think that's how we say it. Chris still has a bit of a way to go by the looks of things. So he's got really, really nice curl pattern in his hair. Um, the before shot, this is like gonna be a perfect one. When he finally grows all of his hair out, this is gonna look absolutely sick because look at his curl pattern right there and he's even grown a beard with it. The reason I chose this one was actually because of the story behind it. So when you submit your before and afters, I actually ask you to tell a little bit of a backstory and this is Chris's one. It's actually pretty inspiring. Chris says, <laughs> been buzz cutting my hair since I can remember because I was too lazy to style it. But in 2018, after a breakup, I decided it was time for a change. I grew my hair out and realized that I had curly hair. <laughs> Wow, how could you not know that you had curly hair? That's so crazy. Went through a lot of undercut styles in August of 2019 and I decided to let it completely grow. I lost some weight, learned how to take care of my hair, grew a beard, and I'm now in a healthier relationship and couldn't be happier with where I am. Uh, looking forward to having my hair long enough for a man bun. I think not only is it fun to learn how important hair health is, but it's also fun to look forward to being unique and confident with long hair. If one has the hair for it, every man should grow their hair out once in their lifetime. You might be surprised. Yes, I completely agree. And this is the exact reason we have the community um, for guys like Chris. The, Chris, good job. Thank you so much for submitting this. I really can't wait to see how your hair looks in like the final stages or when you finally can put it in a man bun. Um, I really appreciate this entry and yeah, hopefully we can convince more guys to, you know, at least try growing their hair out for, for once in their life. I know it's only hair growth and it's literally something that you can cut off or change whenever you want, but it is like a life altering thing. Who, who agrees? <laughs> the next one off the list is Christian. Nen <laughs> Nenadovic, I think I said that right. Now, the reason I chose this one was because it's actually quite a dramatic transformation. And I, I like both. I, I think you look good with an undercut and I think you also look good with the longer hair. I particularly like this color combination. So it looks like it's really dark at your roots and lighter at the ends. I'm guessing that might be sun. Did you dye that? I'm not sure. But yeah, I thought this one was quite a dramatic change. So I thought I would put it in here because it is pretty inspiring. Christian says, hey, I've been growing my hair for the past year and nine months. I've had two trims since then. The last trim didn't go quite as expected. She took most out of my thickness out and the hair in the back isn't even with the front. So I decided to leave it in the bun for most of the time until it reaches my armpit length and then I'll wear it down like I did in this pic. Ah. That is really unfortunate to hear that the hairdresser screwed your hair up. I am lucky enough that I trust both of my hairdressers like with my life, um, that they would never screw it up. But even still, when I go to the hairdresser, I'm very, very 
precise about what I want on that day. I think the key to it is just finding a hairdresser that A, you like, and then B, that you know you can trust and they do a good job. This happens to my sister quite a bit. You know, like she's, she goes to a different hairdresser pretty much every time. She'll get a cut or a color and there is a few times in there where she's not happy with the result and I really put it down to like the hairdresser and you know the hairdresser knowing what you like and the relationship that you have together. Also if you have an invested relationship with it with your hairdresser they're more likely to want to do a good job for you as well. You know what I mean? Sorry to hear about that but your hair looks great and I can't wait till it all evens up for you. Thank you for sharing. All right so the next subscriber on the list is James Ramsey. Now I really like this one you can probably guess because he has lighter color hair. Not only am I loving the color but this transformation looks really good I think I think James looks good with the short hair as well as the long hair I prefer the long hair better anyway uh, you look like you've got a nice full head of hair there and it would look really nice if you if you used a curling wand on that it would look amazing not that it doesn't look amazing though now let's read what James said it was so hard not to ditch the hair growth at the very start but once I stopped listening to the you should get it cut comments uh, I just let it go and I'm so happy for it P.S. Love your content, man. Ah, Thanks, James. I really appreciate your entry. I'm glad that you made it through the awkward stages. You clearly have. You've gotten right down to way past your collarbone. Like, good job. That takes effort. Thanks for the submission. Whoa, this next one is freaking crazy. Okay, so I'm going to try and pronounce this name the best I can. Goncalo Madalino. Madaleno. I suck at names. This is the picture though. Look how different this guy looks. And to be honest, when I say different, I mean different for the better. I love these lying down shots. I do that all the time where I fan my hair out and it looks super crazy. So this, uh, this photo had to be in here. Just A for the dramatic difference and also the fun in the after shot. Now this is from Goncalo. Been growing my hair out since July 2018. Uh, I shaved my hair, then decided to grow it out since then, at first, I wanted a samurai kind of look with a top knot and shaved sides. But then in the summer of last year, I just realized I wanted more hair. Uh, so I restarted my journey in August of 2019 and decided to grow out the sides as well. It's the 10th of June, 2020. So this is a bit old. I'm <laughs> I got these submissions quite a while ago. Um, so I'm two months behind here. It's been almost two, two years since I shaved my head and a year since I grew everything out. And right now I am finally able to tie it all up. I'm really, really happy. Much love, Thomas. Big hug from Portugal. Ah, I love that. Thanks for sharing this. I really think this uh, change is super cool. Like I said before, uh, it definitely is for the better look. I think you you really suit the long hair. Uh, what What's interesting about this one, I relate to this a lot. So when I started growing my hair and having the top knot on top with the shaved sides, I thought, yeah, this is cool. And then I went through like 50,000 different undercut styles and then came to the conclusion that I wanted to grow it out because I needed to change. So I feel like we're two peas in the same pod. <laughs> Thank you for sharing and I really appreciate it. And thanks for being part of the pride. All right, moving on to the next one. So the next one is from Ricardo Enrique. So we've got three shots here. Three images. Now let's read the explanation here because this guy has really beautiful hair too. So it's been two years of hair growth. I've always had curly hair, but back then I used to make it straight. Same, I used to go for that emo look as well. I thought it was so cool, but it's not. I didn't like the curls at all. Neither. Now two years later, I learned to embrace the curls and now I love them a lot. Same. Oh my God, this person could just be me. My dream now is to have dreadlocks and I'm doing it the natural way, which is not combing it. In the last picture, there is a comparison between two months ago, red hoodie, and two months of natural dread process, the bun pick. Thank you, Thomas, for this opportunity. I love the group. Ah, natural dreadlocks. The only way I knew that you could do dreadlocks was by Get going to some lady or someone who actually does it and they sit there and back comb for hours and hours and hours. This is super interesting. I'd love to see how your hair turns out in the end. And I have a question for you. How often or how long does it take to get the dreadlocks, like naturally? And wouldn't it just turn into one big mat rather than singular mat? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for the submission, Ricardo. And uh, I'm glad that you're a part of the community. Moving on to the next subscriber. So this one is from Yanon Major, I think. We've got another lying down picture. I actually really like this one too. This guy looks like he's got a lot of character. I like it. 
thank you so much for the submission. And look at that long, beautiful hair. He looks like he's been growing for a really long time. Let's read what he said. After getting waistline length, I cut my hair a little bit to the chest length because my hair was too heavy for me. Now the medium length is so much easier for me and I'm very happy with my hair. It was a journey, but I'm glad I did it. Short and sweet, love that. Hair down to the waist, I could imagine that would be heavy. Hmm. I really, how do I say your name as well? It's Y-N-O-N, Yanon. Let me know. <laughs> Thank you for the submission. <laughs> okay, so this next one is amazing. This is, uh, <laughs> I don't know whether to say Warwick or Warwick. Look, there's a place called Warwick and it's spelt Warwick. W-A-R-W-I-C, K, <laughs> okay? And this guy here, this is Matthew Warwick slash Warwick. I don't know which one to say, so I'm gonna say, Warwick slash Warwick. <laughs> um, and look at this freaking hair, man. This is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is the most stunning one of the whole batch. And the story behind this one was really cool as well. Let's just appreciate his hair for just one more minute. Like, let's just look. Oh. And that mane, like you wouldn't even think that mane would come out of his hair in the before shot. Like in the before shot, his hair looks quite straight and quite thin. Uh, but then in that second shot, it's just vroom, Mufasa. It's rocking the world. So Matthew said, last haircut I got was the day my aunt died. I didn't find out until the next day that she had passed, but I decided life is too short to worry about what others care about my appearance and decided to just let my hair grow. Um, that was a little over three years now and I haven't gotten a single haircut, just trimmed the sides myself. My hair reminds me of my aunt and it's a great way for me to express myself and have confidence. It's been well worth it through the ridicule from my family, but my friends have been supportive. I'm going to continue growing it and eventually donate it when I decide to get it cut. Ah, oh, this guy sounds like a complete all-rounder and I would actually want to be friends with someone like this. Matthew, I'm so sorry about your aunt dying, but I am really glad that you found um, some sort of liberation through having your long hair. It's really, really nice to read this, and uh, I think it's really awesome that you're planning to donate the hair as well. I've mentioned this before, like, it makes me feel bad that I'm not planning on donating mine because I'm actually so attached to my hair, but there is so many young kids out there that are suffering with cancer and they feel like aliens in the playground, and it's really nice that people actually you know, grow their hair just to cut it off so those kids can have something to wear and help them feel more normal. So it's really, really cool. Thank you for the submission. Okay, now for the next subscriber. So this one, I love this name. This one is from Wessel van den Engel. <laughs> this is how you spell that. <laughs> Wessel van den Engel. Yes, I want that name. So, and this is uh, Wessel's photos right here. So. It looks like uh, he started growing it out when he still had a bit of length on it, like it looked a bit buffy, and he's holding a fucking rattlesnake that it looks like. And then we can see his aftershot here where he's got beautiful blonde curls or blonde waves, if you like. I obviously chose this because I like, I love the blonde hair. <laughs> I just love blonde hair, I can't help it. No, okay, so Wessel says, hello, my name is Wessel van den Engel. <laughs> I love it. Why did I start growing my hair out? Well, when I was, little, at the age of seven, I think I had long hair, but I cut it all. And two years ago, I saw somebody in Greece with long hair and I was like, oh my God, I want it. It looks so cool on him. So I was like, yeah, hmm, <laughs> I, I wanna grow it out. But my friends at the time were a bit, you know, long hair is for gay people and Jesus, etc. You know, the don't do it words, but I'm growing it out for 18 months now, and it's growing pretty good. I think I can do a full man bun now. The first man bun I did was on vacation in Portugal. It was a half bun. I think it's called a union bun, but <laughs> I have a little problem. I was in my six months of growing it, and a few hairs burnt in the barbecue at the front of my head, but they're growing back slowly. And I had a question. What can I do to make my hair wetter when I'm at work? I am using oil, but I can't take it to work. Thank you for reading this. Have a good day, Wessel. <laughs> what a story. Um, okay, so Wessel, like you sound like a very interesting person and I would definitely love to sit down and have a chat with you one day. But with the wet hair thing, why can't you take oil to work? Like, or why can't you, is there a tap at work where you can just wet it a little bit or you're probably better off tying it up? I'm not really sure by the problem here. I, I need more specifics in order to be able to answer it, I guess, but from what I make of it, you 
for some reason you're going to work and you can't take anything with you. So I'm not really, I'm not really sure how to answer that. But look, I really appreciate your hair and thank you so much for this submission. Perhaps DM me later and we can talk further about this issue. <laughs> Wessel van den Engel. All right, next cab off the rank. So, oh, this one is knock your socks off material. So this is Pranav, okay? And he's put his name in the entry as Pranav B. And I don't know what his last name is in the Facebook. But Pranav is a very active member in the Man Buns and Mains Facebook group. He has the most stunning, sick hair. A lot of his posts are really like, whoa, posts. They're the ones that you really gawk at and you're like, oh my God, okay, I'm really into this now. He really gets the party started in the Facebook group. Um, so I'm honored to like feature this, this particular photo and this transformation. This is the first time I'm actually seeing his very before shots. He hasn't posted anything like this in the group, but here's what he looked like before. And then this is what his hair looks like now. His, what his hair looks like now is just freaking stunning. And this photo doesn't do, well, it actually does do him a lot of justice, but the Facebook group does him 10 times more justice. So thank you for the submission, Pranav. Now let's read what he had to say. I've always loved long hair and I have always had longer hair than my peers. And it was sort of like a birthday promise to my girlfriend that I'll grow my hair out fully. And now I'm 2.7 years with two trims. And I must say, I've never really thought about chopping it off at any point of my hair journey. And I love where I'm, where I'm at and where I'm going with it. I'm aiming to reach my lower back by 2021. My sincere thanks to Thomas for bringing up this community. It's one hell of a ride. Hell yeah it is. Mainly because of you. You're a massive contributor and I really, really appreciate you. So, <laughs> thank you. Come join the group. All right, moving on to the next subscriber. So this is Frederico Mentovani. <sighs> this one's a cool transformation. Now, this looks like a mane in training. So this mane still has training wheels. Frederico has great hair. Look at that. When that's fully grown out, that is just gonna be an absolute shit hot mess. Or <laughs> shit hot mess. Yeah, you could say a hot mess. That's a that's a compliment, right? It's gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> I actually really like in the after photo. Um, he's got what I would like, what I would call the buff look, and I fucking love that look. And I think already the buff look. For some people, it's the awkward stage, but I actually think it looks really good on this guy, and I like it better than his before shots. So. Good on you, keep growing. Uh, I really would like to see an updated version of this. Um, when did you? 17th of April, 2019. I'm not actually sure when he submitted this, so his hair could be a lot longer right now, but I was a fan of this shot. So, what Frederico said, or Federico? Federico, sorry, I said his name wrong. There I go again, I'm like a, say, say your name wrong assassin. <laughs> Hi Tom, first of all, great channel. Thank you for your videos. My pleasure. My last serious haircut was on the 17th of April, 2019, and since then, I've trimmed it three times. I discovered that my hair is wavy slash curly because I never had long hair in my life. So far, so good. This just makes me so, like, curious. How does somebody go their whole life without knowing that they have curly hair? I mean, I knew from the moment I popped out of the womb, I was like, curly hair. Although a lot of you say I don't have curly hair anymore, but I actually do. It's actually just frizzy. <laughs> The curl's not ever been glamorous. Um, I, I'm never really sure about that. Anyway, really appreciated this Federico, and yeah, congrats on sticking in there and only getting three trims. Yeah, I've just never understood how people didn't know they had curly hair, but hey, I'm not everyone, am I? And now moving on to the lucky last subscriber. So this is, fuck, that's a hard name to say too. This is Nathan Poignonek. I'm not even gonna to attempt to say that one again. I tried, this is how it's spelt. This one is also another main in training. So I actually am really digging this messy look on, on the, well, the after shot on Nathan. This is what he looks like before. The reason I chose this one was I thought it was quite cool just to see the difference. Even though his mane isn't fully developed or it's not even what we would consider long yet, I think his look is drastically better already with this length. I really, I don't know, the clean cut look, it doesn't look bad, but I, just, I don't know, maybe I'm just biased. I really like shaggy, messy hair, so <laughs> this one was a winner. What Nathan had to say was, Hi, I think I was like most guys who wanted to grow long hair, but never seemed to be able to pass it. 
But due to these crazy times, he probably means COVID, which nobody will ever forget. Thanks to joining the Facebook group, I finally passed the hardest point, the awkward stage. And now I'm just enjoying the journey of growing out the hair. Discovering my hair is quite wavy. Another one. Um, new ways of styling it and changing my appearance. So thank you, Thomas, for creating your channel and the group, which helped me a lot. Cheers from Belgium. Ah, thank you. Yeah, wow. It's another one that didn't know that he had curly hair. Maybe it's a thing. But my pleasure for making the channel and videos. And there we have it guys, so that brings us to the end of today's video. I really enjoy going through those. The picking process is always the hardest because A, going through them, I could sit there for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and just look. It makes me really excited to do that. In saying that, the link to submit more, if you want to get in another video like this, um, or if you've got an update that you want to put in, from your before and afters, make sure you just head to the link in the description where you can submit that. That link will be live forever. But yeah, no, I really do enjoy doing it. The hard part is picking it and then making my justifications as to why, because literally everybody that submits something like that, like somebody's going out of their way to submit a photo and a story about their hair growth journey. And yeah, I just feel bad that I can't feature them all. But anyway, that's why the Facebook group exists. We've constantly got a full feed of people talking to each other, lifting each other up, talking about hair growth. It actually literally never ends. So if you do need more of this in your life, that's where I'm gonna encourage you to go. And, <laughs> and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, okay? That's pretty much all I've got for you this week. In the coming weeks, we've got more hairstyling stuff coming up. I have a Dyson Supersonic that I bought 550 fucking dollars later, and I'm gonna be testing that out. Um, hair drying is definitely something that I need to get better at. That's pretty much all I've got for you at this stage, okay? I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button, please join the Facebook group, and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, okay? <laughs> Catch you later, guys.